Hey guys, it's Nova VA, and I am back with another video. This video is a request I got from Larissa Thornton. I hope I pronounced your name right. <laughs> it was, can you do a pod relationship with Billy Hargrove, ex Steve Harrington, ex listener, when someone bullies you? Now, I was actually so excited to do this when I read this request, because like, I've been wanting to do a poly relationship for so long. So I'm gonna do this request and I'm actually so excited. Um, so I don't really have any much else to say other than like, let's just start the video, I guess. And by the way, just a little heads up, if you don't know what a poly relationship is, it's basically when you're kind of like an open relationship in a way, but like you date more than one person. So yeah. And everyone's okay with it, like, yeah, you know. <laughs> or you can just look it up rather than me explaining it, but now it's actually gets to the video. Okay, so here's a little info on what's going on. So basically, you are at the library, just like doing your thing. You're reading books, you're studying for upcoming exams. Because why the hell not? Yeah, okay. I forgot what I was gonna say for a second. I totally spaced. Um. I don't know if I mentioned this already, because my brain is going blah blah blah, because like 3 in the morning. <laughs> so, basically, and then Steve and Billy are at home watching movies and cuddling, because, you know, slow. So, they're currently just minding their own business, and then you've come home like from the library. Like, you just come in through the door and slam it behind you and just go straight to your guys' room and just flop on the bed, you know? You're just, you're just so sad, and you just start bawling your eyes out. But you lock the door so they can't get in, you know? Hey, listener, what's... Listener? What's up with her? How am I supposed to know? Hey, listener. They get up from their the, the couch and go upstairs to your guys' room and just start knocking on the door. Well, Steve does. <laughs> like, very gently. Listener, can you let us in, please? Listener? Billy then knocks on the door, but, like, in a more aggressive way, but still quite gentle. Because, like, he's really concerned about you, and he just he just loves you so fucking much, you know? Listener, come on, let us in. Okay, we're really worried about you out here, okay? Can you please let us in? You finally give in and get up and open the door to reveal your red puffy eyes and red nose from all the sniffing and crying you've been doing. And your lip, your bottom lip looking really bruised from kind of biting it to stop yourself from like making that sort of like noise, you know what I mean? Hey, listener, baby, no, come here. Steve then pulls you into a big hug, and then Billy, like, wraps his arms around the both of you, you know, because he's, he's really masculine. Steve, like, peppers your head with kisses and stuff, and Billy's, like, rubbing your your head, you know? He's rubbing your head, making sure you're okay, like, sort of like the back of your head, like, where your neck is, but, like, not really, just kind of up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to tell us what's wrong? Or do you need a few minutes? You tell them that you just, like, want to calm down for a bit. So they, like, lead you over to the bed and you guys sit there. You're in the middle and Steve's to your right, Billy's to your left. You then kind of just start to cry a little bit more. And they just kind of hug you and give you kisses and make sure, you're, like, you're okay and that you've calmed down a bit. And they kiss your hands and your cheek and stuff. Like, you know, like, cause Steve kisses your right hand and... Billy kisses your left hand, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? And then, of course, Steve kisses your right cheek, you know, you know, you get what I mean. <laughs> Do you want to tell us what's going on? You're getting bullied? Why didn't you tell us? How long has this been going on for? Two months? Are you serious? You didn't even think to tell us? 
are your boyfriends listening? Of course you're going to care. <laughs> who was it that bullied you? Billy, I don't think you should. Just, who was it that bullied you, listener? Because I swear to God, I will literally beat the living shit out of them. Like, Billy, come on, don't get in any fights. The listener probably doesn't want that. I don't care, okay, Steve? Whoever hurt our girlfriend deserves to feel pain, okay? Whoever made our girl cry is gonna fucking pay for it, okay? Billy. Billy. Who was it, listener? Who the fuck is Jason? Oh, right. Jason Carver, you know, the popular basketball kid? Right. I'll be right back. Where, where are you going? Billy. B- Billy. Just stay here and make sure listeners are okay. I have business to take care of. Billy. Where are you going? B- <sighs> He's gonna get himself in trouble again. Billy storms out of the room and, like, goes off to find Jason. Like, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, Billy and Jason, like, kind of be friends, I guess. I know he said, like, he was Jason, but, like, he hasn't heard from him in, like, a while. Because, like, when Billy used to be an asshole, they were friends. Um, and now Billy's, like, gone off soft and stuff. And Billy goes off to, like, that one place where Jason always, like, went. You know, where they play basketball. Because you know how Billy's played basketball in season two? Yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear, like, the gym at the school. But it's, like, empty. Because it's, like, basketball prices just say that. Yeah. <laughs> Jason? Hey, Billy, what's up? You coming to play basketball with us? Billy then just punches Jason right in the face. Like, he just punches him and, like, not contact, just punches him. <laughs> hey, what's your fucking problem, Billy? You're my problem. You hurt listener, okay? What the fuck is wrong with you, Jason? What, you're just a little nerd. Who studies, with, like, at the library anymore? Like, come on, Billy. You have to agree, right? Like, what's even up with that? Like, why do you even care? He then punches him again. She's my girlfriend, you dumbass. Oh, your girlfriend? The fuck? Oh, Jesus. What, are you gonna fight back or something? Like, are you too scared, Jason? Oh. His, like, Jason's friends start ooing and stuff. So, like, and then you and Steve kind of burst into, like, the room and, like, Steve just pulls Billy off Jason. And Jason's kind of holding his face and stuff. And you're kind of there behind Steve, like, gripping on to his arm. And you're wearing, like, Billy's thick sweatshirt. You know, that's like, it's, and you like you have the hood up, and it's like, you guys look adorable. Oh, look at that. It's the three idiots are coming together. <sighs> Aren't you guys in like a poly relationship or something? <sighs> Fuck. Fucking weirdos. Yeah, we are. And I fucking love them, okay? So you can all just shut the fuck up. Because y'all know you guys can't pull. And Jason, isn't your girlfriend dead? You fucking. And then Billy goes up to him one more time and just punches him right in the face, which knocks him out. Like, he punched him that hard and knocked him out. Oh! Billy, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. Come on. And that was, like, a really hard hit that it kind of scared you, so you kind of swing your eyes and, like, hold it on harder to Steve. Don't worry, you're not scared of Billy. It's just, like, you know. Yeah, whatever, man. Just get out of here. That's what I thought. Billy then, like, puts his arms around you both, and, like, you all leave and get in Steve's car and, like, drive off and go back home. You okay, listener? Like, I'm sorry, but I had to do that. I don't want you to really see that. Why'd you bring her here? Sorry, I guess just, she kind of wanted to go see you. She wanted to be without you, you know? Oh, baby, come on. 
I thought I'd be back. <sighs> okay, right, so let's all just chill out. Let's get you cleaned up first, Billy, because your knuckles must hurt. Jesus. I'm fine, don't worry about it. As long as you're okay. Yeah. And if anyone ever tries to hurt you guys, I swear to God. Yeah, we get it. Okay, we get it. Thanks, Billy. Anytime, babe. So, um... Movie? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, sister, you can be in the middle. <laughs> Billy then gives you guys, like, individually just a kiss on the lips, you know? Come on, guys. Love you guys. Love you, too. Come on, listener. And that is the end of the video, you guys. I hope you liked it. Um, honestly, this is really fun. I really kind of want to make, like, more, like, poly relationships, you know? That's kind of, this is really fun. I really like this. Okay, so, that was actually really good. <laughs> I can make a part two if you want me to. But, like... For now, I'm gonna continue this the 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 jealous Eddie ex listener series. But until then, keep your requests coming in. And by the way, for those of you asking, like, am I busy? Like, I'm not busy. I literally have nothing to do with my life. Although I am gonna be busy on Sunday, which is technically tomorrow, because it is now Friday, giving that it is three in the morning. So yeah. I will be busy on Sunday and that's like basically it. And Saturday, Sunday. I'll be busy this weekend, that's all. But I will not be busy all next week or next weekend. So, yeah. I have technically today and all next week. So, keep your guys' requests coming in. And I will try to do all of them as much as possible. So, and you guys are probably wondering, like, oh, do you have homework to do? No, guys, I don't do homework because I don't have to do it personally. Because there are, like, so many issues in my life, and I just don't have to do it because they cut me down from homework because of my personal issues. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. And if you ever want to reach out to me or anything, just give me a heads up, you know? Because I will leave my Snapchat in the description if you ever want to collab or give me any ideas that are something you might be going through, like something personal. And you want me to turn into an ex listener, then I can definitely do that just to comfort you and make sure you're okay if it'll help you in any way. But other than that, uh, I hope you guys have a great day or night, and I will see you in the next ex listener, which will be my part two to my ex listener series. So I love you guys, and I hope you have a great day. Mwah.